Aloha folks, we're here today with my brother Noah and uh, at the Koalau booth. We have some of your instruments behind us here. Something that's a little bit newer is you're doing different body widths on some of your tenors, right? Yeah, this is a CS with a, it's what we call a CS thin body. So it's about a little more than half of the normal CS shape. This one has the side port, uh, which we started doing as an option this year. Um, this one has koa back and sides with a bear claw spruce top. Uh, Super bear claw. This this is amazing. Um, and then I've seen you doing this sometimes now, doing the darker koa and then a, a lighter, also curly koa for the binding. That looks really cool. Yeah. And then these are the Waverly tuners um, that we're sending koa to them, and they're actually doing koa buttons for us. So you guys are sending the koa to Waverly? Yeah versus their regular koa that they Well, they, they, use? they weren't doing the uh, koa button oh. and these tuners with the gold. So we sent them uh, some koa and they did a whole bunch of tuners for us, which look really nice. Uh, this one has some special rosewood uh, fingerboard uh, bridge and face plate. And what does that mean, special rosewood? Um, it's, it's not Brazilian, but it's not Indian. So uh, this is actually a set of uh, Madagascar rosewood that we've had for a while that we used on this. These are snakewood uh, bridge pins mm, uh, that nice. look real nice with the rosewood. Yeah. So and the Madagascar, it's it's a lighter weight too, um, and it just has really good acoustic properties. Yeah, I like it for the ukulele because it's uh, it's lighter in weight, but it still has the density, uh, so you get that projection and clarity, especially on the bridge. I really like it on the bridges. instruments here this looks like Hawaiian yep that's Cuban mahogany that grew in Hawaii uh, we just got a bunch of wood of that that we're getting ready to cut up also uh, that's really nice I like the way that it just naturally uh, changes color with age so you get that natural mahogany um, it just darkens up and gets that real nice color and I've seen you using this different purpling too. the um this is uh, like a blue or almost turquoise right yeah so we have different colors. You can go uh, with red, blue, we have some green, we have some uh, purple even. So it seems like blue has been a popular color this last year and a half. Which kind of sets you it really, apart. You really see the abalone um, accent that color when yeah. you use it around it. Whatever color you use against the abalone, it brings out that color in the abalone. So if this was actually red, you would see more of the reds in right. the abalone. So tell us about this. Uh, so this is our small guitar. This one's made out of all koa. Um, it's got a slot head, special way really tuners on that. And um, we also have a all mahogany and we have a koa with a spruce top. And so uh, Ryan's been working on these. Um, really nice. Super good tone. Yeah. We'll do some sound samples and show people, but I was just amazed at the sound yeah. You guys are getting out of the... Was it, would you consider this an O size? No, it's smaller than that. It's a smaller guitar. It's a little bit shorter scale length. What's the scale on it? Like 24 or something? Or? Yeah. So it's um, it's a real nice, sweet guitar. It's not like a little baby guitar, but it's not like a part yeah. of the guitar either. But a little more relaxed tension with the shorter scale. Yeah. And so... Sweet. We're only building a few of those a year. And so you guys started building CE models again. I mean... Not like you stopped, but it, it seemed like for a little while there, it was um, 
we did we didn't see as many coming out but you, you just did another run of those huh? we just did another run of those it just uh kind of comes and goes we get really bogged down with some of the custom stuff so we don't have time to do those uh, so we just did a run of those they all sold out right away but those are always an option that you can order throughout the year cool so 2016 for koalau what are you what's in store uh, well, it's 20 years, so we're probably going to come out with a special inlay. We'll maybe do a run of 10 of those um, or something like that, a, a limited number. Um, trying to get some koa together that's real nice. Something simple to just uh, commemorate that. And then it's just a lot of custom stuff still uh, where people call and pick and choose and really trying to be a custom shop to work with people to make an instrument that really fits them and fits the needs and the wants that they have. Awesome. And you guys can contact us and we can help you put together a custom order with Koalau. And um, thank you so much, Noah. Thank you. Have a good show.